everyone, how's it going? This is Kelsifer here, and right now it is currently 12.30 in the morning. Um, the reason why it's black screen and mode is because I'm actually recording this with my phone, so... Of course the mic quality is going to be kind of bad, and also my air conditioner is playing in the... It's, is going on in the background, but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. If it is, then I'll be sure to do a voiceover of this or something, I really have no idea. But, um, I digress. There's, this kind of video is actually going to be something a little bit different. Um, if you haven't already made the title, I'm going to be trying to craft my OC. But the way I'm going to do it is something a bit differently. Um, if you all know, um, Pink Bunny Girl 43, uh, she does, um, she and her sister, they do, um, they like get LPS um, like little figurines and then like make them into Warriors characters. Well, I got a little something here. Um, I went to the store today and uh, I actually have other ones right here. And um, I managed to find this cute little fella here and I think I'm going to be using this um, this figurine here as the um, as to be able to make it into my um, OC. Um, if you all don't know, it's my, um, it's my, um, Woeful C that I used in, like, map parts and such. It's basically my persona. And I thought I'd go ahead and make her into a little 3D figure because, why not? It sounds fun. So yeah, that's the little figure I'm gonna use. And I have, um, I have some paint and then some, uh, we actually went shopping today, um, before we, uh, we were out for all day, uh, but I got some air dry clay. Fun. And it says to use an exacto knife, but I'm just gonna use a kitchen knife. If I have to find an exacto knife, I'll probably find it tomorrow or something. And then I got two, um, no, just, um, tacks. I might have to get thumb picks later after I get done modeling the, uh, character here. But I got two picks here just in case. And, uh, I got new, um, I got some paint brushes. Got some paint brushes here that I can use. And I even doodled up a little reference sheet here. Um, this is basically going to be like the stance of the character, and then these are going to be your headphones. And then over here I have a little sewing kit, but I'm more going to use the needles here to, to basically like shape the paws and such. So yeah, that's basically all of my, um, that's all of my supplies that I'll be using. Um, so what I gotta, what I gotta have to do first is, um, um, I'll just do a little, like, speed through of, like, what I do for each thing. I won't, like, record the whole thing. But, what I'm gonna be doing first is, like, I have to, like, cut off the legs. And then basically, like, model the body such. I'll make sure to update you guys with all of those steps and such. Um, and also the reason why I chose this character is because she has a little tuft thing here. And my persona has a little tuft. Um, it's gonna be kind of a little bit difficult because she has, like, those, um, the mutt ears. Kind of like how Nova is, but he's just like, he has what, just one here, then it's like an actual wolf ear. ear. But, um, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna get started on that, and I will see you guys here in a little bit, after I've cut off all the legs and such. And, hope you may stick around for the whole video, because this is going to be fun. Alright, so I just got done carving out the, uh, tail, the legs, and the ears. So now, he's a little monkey worm. Yay! And for cutting out, um, I actually used, uh, scissors instead of the knife head over there. But I kind of, I did use a little bit to kind of, like, skim up a bit of the places. Um, I did try to do it the best I can. I don't really have any, like, sandpaper. The best I have is, like, this thing. I couldn't really find anything else. But I kind of already tore a, uh, hole through it. Oops. But I don't think that'll really matter. Um... So the next part is going to be basically putting on the ears, the um, wolf ears. Um, either that or I might just do the headphones or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the headphones and then do the ears. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll get right to that. Alright, so I just got done basically putting together all of the the basics of of my character here. I got the ears, the headphones, and a little bit of the furs and the bangs. 
I kept a little tuft on there because it kind of suited her. A little bit of a muzzle, kind of looks a little bit off, but oh well. And I got to the paws, make sure to get the back legs, even though they kind of cracked a bit. Basically the legs kept cracking a bit, but that doesn't really matter. And I even got to the tail, did a nice little tail. She's just kind of a little bit bendy to the side of it, but that's okay. I can always fix that. And uh, now I just gotta wait until the clay dries and then we'll paint it. But I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's 3 a.m. right now and I'm tired. I literally only got four hours of sleep last night. So we're going to paint the base coat of this character here with this little paint right here that I got today. So we'll make sure to do that um, tomorrow. So I'll make sure to keep you guys updated with that and I'll see you tomorrow. It'll be in a few seconds for you guys, but for me, it'll be tomorrow. So, see you then. All right, so we've got our base coat colored in. We've got that painted in. Um, now the last part that we have to do is we have to just get the other colors, like the headphones and the eyes and the nose. All right, and we are all done. Here's my little fursona all completed. Uh, let's turn her a bit so you can get a full 360 view. Um, I painted her headphones. There's a little bit of white spot there, but I don't really care at the moment. I can always like do that later if I wanted to. But um, oh, by the way, that's the chair. And uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and lift her up a bit. So she has little paws here. She's got her um. She's got her little eyes here. It's a little bit blurry, but oh well. Here, I'm gonna try to focus it in more. There we go. You can see her eyes and muzzle. And she's also smiling here at the bottom. It doesn't look like she's smiling, but she is. You can kind of see it right here. And then I colored in her headphones. They were surprisingly the right color. All I had to do for the purple was just like put a little bit of blue in there to get that little blue purple color. I was gonna add some eyelashes on her, but I didn't really feel like it. But yeah, so this here's my little character and she's all finished. And she looks super cool. Well, looks like this will do for our video today. Thank you guys so much for checking out this little video here and for seeing this lovely little creation come to life. Um, if you like this video, then feel free to leave a like and check out more videos on my channel. And to be honest, this was really fun to make. I had lots of fun not just making me come to life, but just doing this video in general. It was lots of fun, and I hope you guys have fun as well. And until next time, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.